Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the module DNS Spoof. So this module does take a bit of work in order to get your victim's DNS to be forwarded to the pineapple. What I'm going to be showing you is my connected client is actually at 179. And what I'm doing here is Pineapple is actually taking their request for a fictitious website that I made up, face22book.com, and forwarding that request instead to the Pineapple, where they are presented with this page. Now, I actually created this page using Dave Kennedy's Social Engineering Toolkit in order to clone a website. Now, back to the module. How I got this working is I had to actually use the interface of the bridge LAN in order to get this working. As far as the host configuration, what I've done is for the pineapple, I'm going to have any kind of DNS that looks up the face22book.com to, to be redirected to the pineapple. The landing page that I have is just a redirect to index.html. This is mainly because I have a lot of stuff under the pineapple as far as indexes of other modules that I've done. And I just basically was lazy. I didn't want to clean it up. So I'm forwarding directly to this index.html. Once you start the DNS spoof, it will begin to refresh this log. There's also another log under here, which is going to have all of that information captured as well. So just a quick overview of my configuration. If you go under networking, I'm using that bridged LAN. And then if you go under the connected clients, then you will see the 179, which is my iPad that I've hooked to the pineapple. When I go to look at the face22book.com, immediately I am redirected to the pineapple's IP. Hope this has been a helpful video for you in working with the module DNS spoof.